Hello and welcome to my autumnal vibe reading. This reading is going to be what messages we receive from spirit for the season of autumn and what guidance they have for us as we go into the winter season. So let's see what the cards have here. We have the Woodland Warden Oracle and the first card we have, card number one is the hawk and thistle card number two is the snake and fern and finally card number three is the porcupine and an enemy these are the three cards that are going to guide you in now if you're drawn to more than one card that's fine too drawn to all three might be a message in each reading that is relevant to you so without further ado i shall give you a few moments to decide which card or cards are going to guide you in hello card one and welcome to your reading now the card that you chose to guide you in is the hawk and the thistle graceful persistence the hawk is a keen and vigilant observer so much so that watchful and hawk-eyed have become synonyms. An apex predator, the hawk glides gracefully on the wind with its sharp talons ever at the ready. The thistle can thrive in a variety of environments from verdant hills to rocky shores. Its spiked and stinging leaves protect its radiant flower which perches like a crown upon its stem. Now, when I look at this picture, it's almost like the hawk is looking for the thistle. It's looking for this crown. It's keeping its eyes vigilant, ready to pluck it at any moment. As soon as it sees the thistle, it's going to pluck it. Even though hawks are meant to be going for rabbits and things like that, for some reason, it's after this crown, this goal. So I feel you are the hawk. You are looking for this goal, this accolade. This could be a job. This could be promotion, some sort of recognition for something you have done. And it's like, you've really got to hunt for it. When that opportunity comes along, whatever it is, dive in and go for it. Don't mess around. Don't um and ah, because there's no time for that. You've got to swoop in, get the thing you want and swoop on out because you won't get another chance this is it let's go for it okay. but also be careful because being a thistle it's going to have a lot of spiky leaves if you aim incorrectly and you won't be able to snip off that flower or you'll get stung doing it so there might be a consequence in going for that but if you time it right if you get the angle right you can swoop in get that prize and swoop on out again do it with some style right now these little cards i've got here are fairly new well they're very new actually um they came along with um one of these little tibetan bowls that i got so they weren't really oracle cards they were more sort of uh, guidance cards so i think i sort of think that's what i'll call them guidance cards and i thought oh well they look a bit rubbishy but we'll use them anyway you don't look a gift horse in the mouth do you so we'll see what these come out with so the first one is a positive mindset brings positive things you never cease to amaze me these feel like, like messages from spirit whatever is worth doing well a lot of times i've heard that i did actually initially try to pick three but five came out so there's a lot of messages for you <laughs> i'm grateful to call you a friend right and finally, keep up the good work. So there is something you are doing here that is having a real positive effect on others. And what they're saying to you, and it could, could be about picking up this prize or picking up this goal that you're working towards. Um, keep it up and really make an effort to put in your absolute best because the payoff is, is going to be pretty damn awesome. Keep up that good work, build up whatever you're trying to build up and go for that goal when you see it. Don't think, oh, maybe I'm not good enough. No, they're saying, go for it. You may never get the same opportunity or, or even if that opportunity comes around again, it, it's not going to be the same or in the same way. 
strike while the iron's hot. Let's have a look at our next set of cards. And these are the Seasons of the Witch set of Oracle cards. And I do love these. I've only got three sets at the moment. There's the set for every season. And so far I've got Beltane, which is around my birthday. I've got Sawain, which are these ones. And I've got Imolk, which was a present from one of my sisters. And uh, that ties in nicely with my daughter's birth. So those things. But anyway, let's have a look at these. It's the first time I've used these, although I've had them a while, and I, I like to have, use my cards seasonally. So we'll have a look and see what these bring us. Coming of Winter, the first one, which is very true. Rebirth and Voices. Interesting. So, Coming of Winter, which is perfect for the autumnal vibes reading, really. It comes with lullabies within your mirrored flesh alas it is time to lay your quivering chest upon winter's coming we've got to accept winter's pretty much on its way the weather's pretty reasonable at the moment but um it could all be all change in the next month or so what it's asking us to do here i feel is accept winter's embrace winter is coming and Let's start getting prepared now. Rebirth. There is death in all that awakens, for it isn't blissful nor painless. It is a mighty rising. Oh, flame is resurrected. Interesting. And I'm going to read the final one as well. Voices. With a tug at the gut, feel them romance your every breath. Listen to the gentle flickering within your eyes. For this is where they guide. Interesting. Now, as I said, this one here feels like embracing the season, embracing winter, embracing the rest that you get over this period. Winter is very much a rest period. It is a death-like state. And then obviously we've got spring when we awaken and uh, everything else awakens too. There's just this real sense here about embracing winter and letting spirit, with the voices here, letting spirit guide you as to what you should be doing over winter. Um, I feel there's very much a message of rest and prepare not to try and do too much. I know towards sort of Christmas and Yule, things can get pretty crazy, but these cards are asking us not to rush into anything take it slow take it easy don't allow the season to overwhelm you and get stressed this is not a time for that this is a time to take things slow and if people don't like that well that's just tough so yes those are what i feel we've got with these oracle cards now i'm going to get my tarot cards out and the pack that i'm going to use for you guys is the labyrinth deck it's got a lovely autonomous vibe to them this one's been wanting to be come out to play for a while so we'll see what messages this this deck has for us so spirit what messages do you have for group number one now a lot of people can shuffle the cards so that like, a card will jump out and stuff. i'm afraid i can't do that my hands just don't work that way. So there we go. I've got five cards. Try to keep everything neat and tidy here because I don't have a lot of room. I'm afraid I don't have a fancy studio or anything like that. It's just me in the back room with I have to share with my husband and the family. And we make good with what we have. All right, here we go. So we have the page of pots. Little fella running around, reminds me of my son. And then we have the four of junk, I think this is, which would be the four of pentacles if you were thinking traditionally. And we have the four of pots as well, followed by a page of feathers and seven of pots. Right, well, pots are the equivalent of cups and feathers are the equivalent of swords in this. This is going to be rather interesting. Mm. Lots of pot action, I can see. <laughs> so we've 
going to be focusing on our emotions. Now with the four of pots, I get the feeling there's a, with the page as well, I, I get a feeling there's a bit of a down in the dumps. Whether it's a child or somebody's been messing you around, or whether it's a child or a young person, they don't mean to, but they're just either getting on your nerves or they're causing you some concern and it just, everything feels stagnant or you feel held back because of either this young person and, don't, and then obviously they don't mean to hold you back, it's just the way that they are. Either they're holding you back or they're holding themselves back. But that's the feeling I'm getting that there just seems to be this child or this young person and a lot of stagnation even emotionally financially it just feels like everything's stuck around this young person and we move to another page and with this page rather than it I've got our bird here it could be a goblin disguised as a bird and they seem to be staring intensely at what looks like a turnip studying it like it's a crystal ball they're very very focused whereas this page is can't see the way ahead and they they just seem completely unfocused definitely a little goblin that one it's almost like this page of feathers is looking into a crystal ball and then we've got the seven of pots which is i suppose the equivalent of the seven of cups but i don't feel i'm looking at it in that way with the seven of cups sometimes it can be about manifesting sometimes it can be about visualization those sort of the positive sides but negative sides can be things all being in your head but this one i don't feel like i feel that if this young person it could be yourself because they're not focused they're not seeing the way ahead so if it's advice for yourself if you see yourself i would say stop worrying about lots of different things and just focus on one thing like the page of feathers and everything else will fall into place all these other things will will work themselves out whereas if we're like this page of pots here and we're we're focusing on four different things we're just not going to get anywhere we're going to stagnate we're not, we're not going to be able to develop or move forward Whereas if we're focusing on the one thing that, or the most important thing, then all these other things are going to start to come into play. That makes sense. <laughs> That's really what I'm getting with these, is that there's something about focusing on one thing rather than focusing on lots of different things. And then everything will fall into place. So that can either be yourself or it could be a young person. What I do feel is a young, either it involves a young person or it could be you learning something, uh, maybe taking on a, a new study role and you're unsure what subjects to take. And I think they're saying maybe focus on the subject that that you're, you're the most interested in rather than the subject that you feel you should do because you're going to be more successful that way. But that's what I'm getting. So I hope that resonates with you in some way and i hope you've enjoyed this reading so if i don't see you in the next reading take care and i shall catch up with you soon bye hello pile two and welcome to your reading the card that you have chosen is the snake and the fern starting over the snake and fern cause us to start anew regularly shedding its skin the snake is a symbol of rebirth and transformative healing and in many cultures the fern is associated with new life and new beginnings to the maori of new zealand an image of the unfurling silver fern frond or kuru hopefully i've spelt that correctly if someone wants to correct me that's fine is a central motif indicating growth and return to one's origins together the snake and fern inspire confidence that we start over or embark along a new path so this card is advising us that over autumn we need to be looking in a new direction rather than the current path that we've been going on at the moment there seems to be a wind of change in the air 
that uh, is going to guide us on a new path so that's very interesting but these new little cards here which i got with a one of these tibetan singing bowls and uh, they sent me a, a, a load of little packs of like, oracle cards to go with them these little cards feel more like me little messages of uh, encouragement from spirit so i did initially try and pick three but it's brought me five so let's see what they've got to say we have i appreciate you you rose to the occasion failure is a mother of success never give up never lose the opportunity to succeed and finally oh actually it was the sixth one here snuck in having you around makes all the difference in the world you make me smile i thought it's quite interesting those two were together and i didn't realize there was some extra little one there whatever spirit guide is with you is really bigging you up and saying you know enjoy working with you and they're saying that you've had a little bit of a disappointment a little bit of a letdown where you feel that perhaps there's something you want to give up on failure is a mother of success so if something hasn't worked out recently they're telling you don't, don't completely give up on it use the lessons you've learned from that experience and try again because you might find that the next time you try this thing you will be a little bit more successful these are season of the witch oracle cards and they are the sewing ones obviously i've got about three seasons worth of decks with these ones now i've got beltane which are around my birthday we've got imolk which is around my daughter's birthday um uh, and then i have these sewing ones so let's have a look greet the darkness where the spine bends and the mouth quivers breathes the hidden the pieces that make you whole but cut deep with all of their sharp edges Ooh, we have reflection be wary of the things you believe to see with eyes wide shut for they are the mirrors of the mad and truths only spoken with a bleeding tongue intense and finally the veil it is quite possible your eyes have become the fog in which you dwell a half swallowed glimpse of all that you truly are or can be that the tears you bleed are ready for the storms to turn it, the skies inward something hasn't worked out and it has really got to you but I feel this is something we need to work through over autumn going into winter. It just feels it's something that we need a little bit of introspection. And I think the snake and the fern from our first card is telling us that we need to look at the situation, but maybe in a different way. Maybe we've, we've tried an idea out and it's been a bit of a false start and we need to go back to the beginning take what lessons we've learned and start again and that can be quite daunting to think well i've been here before why should i do it all again because there's new lessons to learn we haven't quite got there yet it, it's hard when you've done it all before and now you've got to do it all over again just to get back where you were but you're, you're going to come away with some really valuable lessons so don't be afraid to bite the bullet and start again this time over autumn and winter to reflect have a plan of action and if you have to wait till spring before you can put it back in, in into action go for it let's see what tarot pack we have for you the deck that i have for you is the elemental power tarot these are quite fun they, they haven't got people in them they are completely peopleless the idea is you are the person you are looking into these cards i'm not i'm not a fancy shuffler i'm afraid i can't make the cards pop out and do all of that my hands are tiny and fumbly and they just don't work like that <laughs> righty hey let's have a look we have the two of wands the tower 
I look so worried. We have the, I think that's the page. I'll have to check that. I might be the night actually. Knight of Wands. This imagery can be a little bit deceptive sometimes. But it's in reverse anyway. And we've got both of these tubes in reverse as well. And we have Justice at the end. Actually no, they're upright. Apologies on that one. That's the night. Right. We don't use these ones that often, but they are a lovely deck. Ooh. Well, so there's been a very heated and sudden break in a relationship. Now, this could be friendship as well as partnerships. I feel it's more of a friendship or a business partnership. I don't really feel this is a love relationship. And it feels like either you've collaborated with somebody and it's gone a bit pear-shaped or a business deal has not gone the way you want or there's been a problem with it and it's been very sudden it's like you thought things were going really well and all of a sudden out the blue something that's completely blown up somebody's pulled the rug from under you and you're feeling out of whack because i'm getting justice and i'm getting balance and i know some of the depictions of the two of pentacles is about balancing act i feel this has already happened it's going to really put you off doing this in future whether it's a friendship that's um gone wrong or collaboration that's gone wrong you're going to feel like, i don't want to do this ever again i'm not putting myself in this situation and yeah totally understandable but opportunities may come in the future not necessarily with this person but with others and things may work out so don't completely shut the door on partnerships it's just saying this one didn't work and you just have to accept that and, f and move on and prepare yourself for spring when perhaps another opportunity will come along and won't treat you so badly. I'm sorry this has happened, but you've got to move forward. A bit of tough love there. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If I don't see you for another reading, then take care and look after yourselves and i'll catch up with you soon bye hello card three and welcome to your reading now the card that you chose is the porcupine and anemone boundaries so we're going to be focusing on boundaries from our autumn winter season the porcupine with its impressive quills is a well-known symbol of self-defense according to legend common among the ashinabi tribes i don't know if i've got that right so if uh, somebody wants to correct me that's absolutely fine in the nice way of course the porcupine has got its quills by replacing the branches of a hawthorn tree on its back defending itself against Nanabozho, the trickster spirit in Ojibwe myth, saw the porcupine's cleverness and fashioned it a coat of quills to wear from then on. Just as the porcupine curls into a ball to defend itself from predators, the anemone flower turns inward and down during rainstorms, protecting its delicate petals from damage. This sort of autumn winter season, we are being encouraged to protect ourselves and to guard our boundaries. Boundaries can be a difficult thing because you don't want to be rude to people. But what we are seeing here with this card is that it's going to be really, really important over this season, especially as we're getting towards party season. We're, we're leading from sort of Samhain up until Christmas Yule time and people might want to invite you out to things and you might not necessarily be up for it. But you feel, oh, I ought to go because I'm going to be rude not to. Or somebody might want to coerce you into having a party at home. If things are going to be too much for you, don't compromise because you'll end up getting burnt out. Do what you can do. Don't worry about offending people. You can just tell them, be honest and say, look, I'm not up to doing that. Or I'll come for a little while, but I... I won't stay the whole evening. If, if people get offended, that's a matter for them. You've been honest with them. You've you've stated your boundaries and you are going to stick to them. So let's have a look and see what spirit messages we have. Thank you for being awesome. 
reach for the stars you can do it you are a superstar so this is giving some real encouragement here this is lovely and living without an aim is like sailing without a compass finally you are simply the best so i think spirit are trying to encourage you not to um, hide your light have a focus on what you want to do but uh, you're doing okay plodding on and that's fine we now come to these oracle cards which are my seasons of the witch sawain oracle cards and they are lovely to use especially this time of year seduction hear the roaring flames with a masterful trance that calls upon heaving chest give in to its alluring grip if you please but heed my warning of the claws that draw blood without mercy the second card is coming of winter i had this in the first reading it comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh alas it is time to lay your quivering chest upon winter's coming and finally we have elders birthed from seed within the belly of the moon they are the wise felt touches over our hearts and felt deep within the marrow of our spirit with this card seduction i want to say surrender i feel it's asking us to surrender to the season to go within ourselves and to reflect it's asking us over winter to take things a little easy to rest and heal this is about looking after yourself and pleasing yourself do the things that you really want to do and if people don't like it all well, tough they're gonna have to understand that you only have so many spoons you need to, this this period to take care of yourself rather than worrying about what other people want and need from you you cannot give from an empty cup so move on to the tarot this is one of my favorite decks uh, this is the dark wood tarot and it's very dark fairy tale -y, so I, I do like this spirit what guidance do you have for us five of swords and then we have ace of swords so we have the king of pentacles and the high priestess and the eight of pentacles our lady here is torturing another lady but this this kind of feel feels like i'll say backstabbing or unkind words behind your back which are completely unnecessary probably due to the fact that you're insisting on keeping these boundaries and not everybody's going to be appreciative of that they're, they're, they're just like oh well getting here oh well it's christmas it's you you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do that well don't let somebody bully you to exhausting yourself I think you're going to be successful in standing your ground with the ace of swords here and we've got the king of pentacles and the high priestess with the king of pentacles i really feel this is about you being on your own terms you are not going to have people bully you into doing something that you don't want to do don't be afraid to use the, the, the no word i feel the the high priestess is giving you the confidence to do this while you're in this healing period you are going to be building yourself up preparing your mind and your spirit and your body for spring conserving that energy nothing is out of your grasp everything's achievable but it's got to be achievable on your own terms you don't need to be on other people's agenda you just need to do things your own way and you will be fine take your time rest over the winter and if other people don't like it tough i hope you've enjoyed that and if you are not looking at any of my other readings today then take care look after yourselves and we will see you soon bye